Hey guys, the Linux man here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna take y'all through how to install stuff. Um, just pretty much, you know, installing software, installing programs on your Linux machine, specifically uh, the Ubuntu and pretty much any of the Ubuntu or Debian based distributions could benefit from this tutorial. Um, I'm going to take you out through three different ways. There's the old regular way, there's through command line, and there's two others. Uh, this interface you see me right here, I'm on a netbook. It is Ubuntu's Netbook Remix 9.10. Now this is just a different interface than the regular one. The This interface is meant for netbooks the Ubuntu desktop version. Their interface obviously meant for desktops, but all the same applications and all the same programs can be found on the regular Ubuntu GNOME version. So the applications I'm going to use to install the software, we're going to use this right here, Ubuntu Software Center. If you're running Ubuntu desktop, you just click on applications and it should be at the bottom we are going to use this one right here synaptic package manager but first we're going to start with my favorite so i could take y'all through the progression of how it's evolved a little bit we're going to start with command line so i'm open up my favorite terminal all right starting with the command line the first thing you need to do this is the command right here apt get this is the command right here that's going to install the stuff all right now it has some options you can do apt-get install and then the program here you can do apt-get remove also and then program here for right now what we're going to do is apt-get install we're going to install something install conky Conky is the name of the program I want to install. Here's the actual program, apt-get, and we're telling it to install something. So we're just going to press enter. Now, this is a good example. If you get this right here, all that means is, number one, you have maybe a package manager open, but checking my windows and the stuff I have up, I don't have anything open. Or, you're not the administrator. Are you root? permission denied. So if you're running Ubuntu you can do su sudo su sudo su. This will get you into the admin mode or if you just want one time privileges you can do sudo apt-get install and then we're gonna go conky. sudo apt-get install. This is gonna go out and fetch it. Now usually it will ask you hey are you sure you want to install this? Right about here, it says after this operation, I'm going to use this much space. After that, it'll say, do you want to go ahead? Do you want to continue? Just hit Y and then hit enter. Now, to remove something, same thing except for sudo apt-get remove conky. That's how, it remove, that's how you remove it. I actually want to keep that so we're not going to remove it. That's the basics from command line. sudo apt-get and then the program you want to install. Now, one of the more popular ways to install programs on Ubuntu and Debian systems is Synaptic Package Manager. It's more popular simply because it's not from command line. A lot of people get freaked out when you see stuff from command line and that's cool. Here's a better way to do it. It will ask you for your password. It comes up. Now automatically, the reason why a lot of people think this is better is because of this interface. It allows you to search things. Here, when it finishes loading, I have a search bar up top. So now I can search for anything I want to install. Let's say, for example, PHP. Now, I could install PHP from the command line, but see, PHP is actually not under the name PHP. There's actually a lot of programs 
by that name like PHP 5 that's the default you know used for web scripting or there's a PHP command line that's the command line interpreter used for you know writing scripts on the side or the PHP CGI so I'll just type it in PHP and it's gonna pull up all PHP packages this is what I was talking about right here if I went to the command line and I thought I knew the name sudo app get install PHP it will give me an error because actually there is no package called PHP it's actually PHP 5 so automatically this looks like it's gonna be a lot better than command line for a lot of people especially if you don't know the name I'm gonna scroll down actually I'm going to take the time to install something I want ah it's already installed the command line interpreter this is pretty much like your shell command or your bash or your Perl or server-side programming this is actually you know server-side scripting this is what will allow you to do it you know without having to do it through a server through the command line so it's already installed but let's say I wanted something else like hmm ah let's do this MySQL a module for PHP now it doesn't have to be this it could be anything what you're going to do is right click it and say mark for installation now once it's marked for installation all you have to do is click apply now let's say I wanted to remove something like I wanted to remove this command line interface or interpreter I go mark for complete removal or mark for removal mark for removal will remove the package mark for complete removal will try and remove any subdirectories and configuration files with it or I can even reinstall it so after that I have the one I want it to install marked I click apply it's really that easy apply and it's gonna download now while it's downloading okay that wasn't as long as I thought it'd be gotta love fast internet man so it's finished it installed it it was a quick install that's pretty much all there is to it now everyone loves a GUI a graphical user interface just because it's, it's simpler it's easier than command line to some people it's more friendly like I said you have this search bar so you can search for things that's a program I already installed now there is another option that Ubuntu has come up with for you to install programs it's the default it has been here since somebody correct me if I'm wrong add a comment post a comment at the bottom um, I think Ubuntu 904 it's been here since then it's called Ubuntu Software Center a lot of people like this one because it's real easy for those guys who are running Ubuntu the desktop version the default GNOME you're going to click on applications it's going to be down at the bottom of the list so I go here and already I know you're looking at it and it does look better simply because when you're looking at it it has everything you need to install the programs I got games I got graphics I got education I don't have to go typing stuff in I don't have to do nothing from command line I just click on what I want I'm gonna click graphics uh, let's install something how about this comic book viewer you click on it press the arrow another cool thing about this is it displays a picture for you to see and an icon so you really do know what you're installing scroll down click install it really is that simple I'll ask for your password type that in bam it's installing it really is that quick that easy that simple it's a big step up from the command line I know a lot of people don't like that a lot of people don't like you know having to type stuff in but for those of you who are comfortable with command line I prefer it I know I prefer it over all this any day it's just quicker for me it's easier to type for me but for those of you who aren't used to it go ahead and use either one of these now it's installed once it's installed you'll be able to find it in any one of your menus 
if you like I said if you're using the default GNOME desktop version click applications in my case I click on graphics applications graphics and here it is installed that's pretty much it that's everything you need to know when it comes to installing stuff